I, I will also stress, and I say this to you because both of you are my European colleagues, uh, and I understand that at this moment uh, this would probably occupy you to the exclusion of almost everything else. But there is also a world out there. It would remind you that uh, there are equally pressing issues in other parts of the world. I mentioned Afghanistan. I mentioned the challenges uh, which we faced in Asia. Rules-based order was uh, under challenge in Asia. The advice we got from Europe is do more trade. At least we're not giving you that advice. I could also, uh, I remember less than a year ago what happened in Afghanistan, uh, where uh, an entire civil society was thrown under the bus by the world. The conflict in Ukraine is concerned. We have a, a fairly clear position that has been articulated, uh, a position which emphasizes the urgent cessation of fighting, uh, which urges a return to diplomacy and dialogue, uh, which uh, stresses the uh, need to respect sovereignty and territorial integrity of states. It looks different from different parts of the world. The priorities are different. That's quite natural. Uh, but uh, uh, as I said, at the moment, uh, these shocks are really for all of us to uh, be concerned about because uh, each of these events, uh, Afghanistan, uh, COVID, Ukraine, uh, big power rivalry, have global consequences. <laughs>